Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to have a little bit of fun creating some unique characters in Crazy Talk 8. So on the screen right now in front of you, you see I have this uh, clever cat, kind of looks like a uh, 1800s Monopoly banker or what have you. Um, anyways, we're going to talk about how you can uh, import a bunch of accessories, do various modifications to your characters to create a uh, really interesting tune type character. We're going to be using uh, mostly Tokamotion bases in this tutorial. All right, so we're going to be recreating this guy in just a moment. Let's take a look first at a couple of the other examples um, that I've uh, kind of saved over here in my custom actor templates. This guy here is a debonair dog. You can see we have a nice bowler hat, a Charlie Chaplin mustache, and some reading glasses. Those are from various other content packs, uh, Tune Maker 2, uh, G, uh, G5 Next Gen, and stuff like that. We'll talk more about the different packs that you can get these, this uh, content from in the future here. Uh, this guy here is Bad Boy Bear, I like to call him. You can see he has a cigarette in his mouth. Uh, earring, that's from our uh, Rock Pack in uh, G5, I think. And his hair is also from the Rock Pack. Uh, just stuff from various different packs. You can see you can get some really interesting and unique results with these uh, cartoon-like characters. Um, just by kind of messing around a little bit. And finally, we're going to be recreating this character as well. This is the one we're going to start with. This is a Princess Pig here, I like to call her. With a nice uh, shiny crown and uh, hair and everything like that. So I'm going to be showing you how to recreate a couple of these characters, the cat and the pig, um, in this tutorial. All right, so let's get started first of all by giving ourselves a blank canvas. We are not going to use this princess pig. We're going to use the pig that we have over here in iClone. If I go to avatars and if you purchase the stylized animal pack from Tokomotion, you'll have this uh, Rudy the pig which is on the screen right here. So I'm just going to click and drag that eye avatar directly from iClone into Crazy Talk 8 and we will have a blank canvas uh, for our character so we can get started from here. Alright so the first thing I want to do is add in a crown. So I've actually saved out a couple of uh, different things here. I have a uh, projects uh, folder here under accessories. Uh, under this Billy Toon pack I have a uh, crown you can search for Billy Toon on the uh, marketplace. Let's bring this crown eye accessory into Crazy Talk 8. And you can see, we can't really see it on the screen right now, but let's just go ahead and apply it to the C section, center of the forehead there. And you can see it's way down on the Z axis. So if that ever happens, just press zero on the Z axis. And then you can also use this uh, default home key and it'll bring it directly in front of your uh, face. But I'll just put it like around uh, zero on the Y axis. So it's right in the middle of his head and then just kind of place it up on the z-axis. We also want to scale this one, so we're going to select scale, lock the x, y, and z-axis, and you can use the arrow keys um, to kind of scale up and down. It's a little bit faster than uh, you know clicking your mouse on everything. And I'll move it up a little bit more. Let's see, it's slowly emerging. Let's just type in the value 10 or something like that. Okay, 10 looks good. Maybe scale it a little bit smaller. There you go. And then you want to go to the right and to the left to make sure that it's kind of in the right positioning. You can probably move it a little bit forward on the y-axis, which will move it towards his forehead a little bit more, and also rotate on the x-axis, kind of rotate it backwards like this. So let's go down and uh, rotate it this way, like that, and then kind of move it a little bit more forward. All right, we're just going to kind of place it right there. We're not going to be too picky about uh, everything here. Just go to the right, looks okay. Go to the left, looks fine. All right, so there's our crown. That's our first accessory that we've, uh, we're going to apply to our character. And now we need to turn him into a princess. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a uh, necklace uh, under the G5 accessory collection. This is from an old pack from iClone 5 actually, uh, from one of our developers, Duchess. You can see this necklace right here. I'm going to bring this in. It's an eye accessory. I'm going to bring it in and uh, place it on my pig. So we're really kind of dressing this pig up as we go along here. And for the necklace, I want to apply it to the J section of the neck. And the first thing I want to do is also scale it up on the X axis. That'll kind of widen it right there. You can see we can kind of place it around the neck right there. And maybe a little bit on the Z axis. Let's see, it kind of goes up a little bit, so we'll have to move it further down, just like this. There we go. We'll just work with that. And also move it a little bit forward on the Y as well, because the brooch or whatever that is on the necklace seems to be going into the chest. Okay, I think we're good right there. If we go to the right and we go to the left, we're pretty golden. So let's just keep that the, uh, where it is right now. We'll use the default pose. 
and go to apply. Now the next thing for the pig is we're just going to be using an embedded dress. Uh, you can import dresses from uh, you know iClone on your characters and everything like that. But I'm just going to go to uh, uh, Actor Elements over here and under Body, we'll find a nice suitable dress. Let's go to the Template folder here under uh, Body and let's find a nice evening gown, this uh, female dress right here. Now we don't want to import the texture, we just want to import the cloth itself, um, not the body shape either because we want the cloth to actually conform to our big uh, pig body here. So we'll just apply that and you can see it will apply nicely to our character and if we zoom in and out you can see it's a little bit of a low, low cut dress but uh, you can see the uh, straps on the dress anyways. We'll go to about uh, this distance right here, which looks fine and dandy. And after this, we're going to go back to iClone. And we're going to bring in another accessory. This one can be found under uh, the Accessories section in the Monster Workshop Volume 1, another pack from a couple years ago. We'll find the Equipment. And there is a rose right here in the Equipment section. Uh, so I guess the rose can be considered an equipment. Let's place it on Rudy in, uh, in uh, iClone first. And you can see it'll place a little bit above his head because he's fairly short. So that'll kind of give you an idea of where it'll be placed in Crazy Talk 8 as well when we import it into Crazy Talk 8. So uh, let's just wait for it to appear and we'll place it, attach it to the D section on the right of the head there and we just want to make sure we move it down on the Z axis to about uh, 10 right there and then we can kind of move it a little bit closer on the X axis, slowly bring it over there and then a little bit further back on the uh, y-axis as well. There we go. I think that looks fine. It's a nice beautiful uh, bro or uh, hairpin, whatever you want to call it. And we can also uh, put some hair on our character as well if we just go ahead and apply this. Apply that beautiful uh, flower to the hair. Uh, we can go to actor elements right here and then under hair we can find you know any type of hair here. I like to use this uh, low ponytail. It's got to place some hair around our uh, pig's head right there. And uh, now it's kind of looking like a beautiful uh, princess pig, maybe like a Miss Piggy or something like that. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to put some lipstick on this pig. All right, so let's go to the uh, textures up here, and texture settings rather, and you want to select skin underscore head right here, and you have a diffuse map with your character's facial uh, texture. All right, so all you need to do is just save this out, and we'll save it to, uh, we'll call it uh, face texture uh, to our desktop and go ahead uh, back to our desktop. Apologies for my messy desktop here. Where is our face texture? Uh, here it is and we'll just go ahead and right click that. Open it up in Photoshop. You can probably do this in like Microsoft Paint or whatever as well. It's not too complicated actually what we're going to be doing in Photoshop. In fact it's rather simple. We're just going to be placing some lipstick around the lip area right here. Um, on this top area. So let's go ahead and choose our brush. Make sure we have a nice uh, nice cherry red color like this one right here. And let's zoom in on the uh, lips right there. And we're going to use a normal brush here. Just like something like this. Alright, and then all we need to do is just kind of paint our lips along this area right here. Alright, so just like this. And then make sure we have a nice outline for the lips. Okay, I'm doing kind of like a mess, messy job here, but uh, maybe our our pig is kind of like a lipstick amateur or makeup amateur. So we'll just uh, do 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 our best with what we have here. Now you don't have to do the uh, the whole inside. Basically, this section here is just mapped to the outside of the lips, and uh, you can do something like that. And then if you want, like maybe a nice uh, white reflection on the bottom of the lips, there you can just go to uh, select your brush and choose a white color, something like uh, this. And then maybe choose a brush that's like uh, something like this and uh, you can just use the bracket key to make it a little bit smaller. And then just, uh, well, make sure you select it first. And then just kind of swipe it across like that. Okay. It's a really, really sketchy uh, job that I'm doing here, but I just kind of want to show you where you can apply lipstick to your characters. So let's go to File and Save This As. And we'll save it as Lips in capital letters so it's easier to find on my desktop there. All right, and then we'll just go to back to Crazy Talk and just replace that diffuse texture with the lips right there. All right, and that'll give our character some nice lips, and you can see the white reflection on the bottom lip there. 
All right, so that's really all there is to it. You know, in a couple minutes, you can really customize your character and uh, turn him from a, uh, a regular pig into a princess. All right, so let's go ahead with our next example here. The next example is going to be using that uh, cat. We're going to be creating the uh, clever cat. Let's just close down Photoshop right now to save some resources. And in our avatar section of iClone, we're going to be using that same uh, character from the same pack there, stylized animal pack from Tokomotion. So let's click and drag Sammy the cat into uh, Crazy Talk 8 right now. It's going to replace our princess pig. All right, so here we go. The first thing I want to do is load in a hat that I've actually saved from an alley content pack, Toon Frog. I'll click and drag this into uh, our cat, onto our cat rather, and place it in the center of the head there. And I'm just going to bring it down to a value of about 10. And we can, uh, you know, scale it as well, lock it on the XYZ. And uh, using my arrow keys, just to scale it down a little bit, and maybe bring it a little bit forward on the uh, Y axis here. Let's turn it to the right so we can see a little bit better. There you go. Maybe we can rotate it on the Z or X axis as well, so it's kind of above the ears there. Default pose. A little bit more. Maybe move it a little tiny bit back as well. And you can see the results right there. Okay, I think the positioning is fine for that hat. All right, let's go ahead and apply it. The next thing I'm going to do is add a custom suit that I've saved from this character. So again, back to actor elements, I'm going to go to my custom tab here. And under custom actor elements under body, uh, keep in mind that you can save your character's entire clothing and reapply it to another character. And it'll conform to that other character as well. I have this, uh, I just saved this as an Amish vest because it kind of looks like an Amish uh, vest. We'll go ahead and uh, apply that, with just the cloth. There you can see he's looking pretty fancy right away, off, right off the bat. And let's go back to actor elements here and under accessories now. I've saved this scarf. This is from our professional outfits pack in iClone. So I've imported that in as an eye accessory. We'll click and drag that onto our character. You can see it applies nicely to his neck there because I've already saved it previously to his neck. So when you save it to a character's, any part of the character's body and you save it out as an accessory in Crazy Talk 8, it'll automatically apply to that section. So if I go to Create Accessory Settings, you can see I have a J, the scarf, right there. And I probably need to move this down a slight bit there. Maybe a little bit back on the Y axis as well. So it's underneath the uh, collar of the shirt there. All right. So he's looking pretty suave and handsome already. And for the next item, the next accessory, I'm just going to use one of our embedded uh, packs here. Uh, I'm going to go to back to my template folder and uh, accessories. And for the face, we have a party fun pack and in the party fun pack we have some cool small round glasses like this um, look fairly clever and we'll just uh, modify the positioning of that slightly so we'll select our glasses and let's bring them a little bit up on the z-axis there maybe uh, scale them a little bit larger as well there you go something like that and i think we're pretty much good to go after that so there's our uh, glasses I'm going to show you after this how to modify the materials on your character as well. Let's take a look at a more complicated example here. All right, so I'm going to go back to uh, iClone, and what I'm going to do is under Toonmaker 2, some packs will have, uh, rather we need to go to accessories, not the avatars. Some packs will have a lot of dummies involved in, in their uh, creation. Um, so for example, if I go to Toonmaker 2 and I go to Beard, we have this Dolly mustache, for example. I'm going to apply this to my uh, pig right here. And just you know, position it correctly. Move it down to his uh, nose right there. All right. So this dolly mustache is actually spring loaded. Uh, don't mind the positioning right now if it's not exactly correct, but it's spring loaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my character and just go to. Uh, we're going to move this over a little bit. There we go. Direct puppet. I'm going to use the direct puppet tool and select my character's head with primary rotation. And just kind of move it around. You can see the mustache isn't moving. The spring effects aren't on. So you're probably wondering how do you turn the spring effects on? Now if you import this the way it is into Crazy Talk 8, it's not going to have spring effects either. So what you need to do is go to the C Manager. You need to find your dolly mustache right here. And there's dummies, another dummy. And you need to go to the basic, the very lowest layer. Because if you select the dummy, notice that if you go down here to spring, there's nothing. Second dummy, also no nothing. And the third one, there's finally the ability to activate the spring. So we'll just select activate on this and activate on this one as well. 
And then if we go to our uh, direct puppet, let's select our character first, uh, direct puppet again, and you can see we have that bouncy mustache, which is uh, a lot better. And you can modify all the spring values for that as well. But uh, after you've activated those springs, then what you want to do is you can take the uh, dolly mustache again, go to your content manager, uh, custom, and you can just save it as a custom accessory uh, by pressing this plus key. I've already saved it as a custom accessory. I've called it spring stash right here. Okay, so I'm just going to click and drag that into my uh, crazy talk eight here and we'll apply it to our character. So uh, I think we'll apply it to the F section, which is mostly reserved for mustaches. We'll just uh, bring it a little bit further back on the old uh, Y axis there, a little bit up on the Z axis. I want it to be kind of coming out of his whiskers. So something like this would be fine. We can probably scale it a little bit as well. Now this will scale according to the position of the main dummy. So the main dummy is in the middle, so it'll just kind of scale it closer to the middle. Okay, so we have these this nice dolly mustache popping out of his whiskers there. And there you go. So our clever cat is pretty much uh, complete right there. We can just probably uh, refine those a little bit later. But let's go ahead and apply the mustache to our clever cat now. So you can notice as well that everything, the textures kind of look a little bit flat sometimes. So what you want to do to enhance the textures is you want to go up to create and go to material settings. I'm going to select the accessory tab up here. I'm going to select my hat first and just increase the specular value a little bit and the glossy. So you can see the glossy will target the reflection a little bit more and the specular will just create a stronger reflection. Okay, so I like to do this. And in addition to that, what we can do is go to create and uh, accessory settings right here and then select that same hat and kind of make it darker a little bit as well, the diffuse map, because it looks a little bit too bright there. All right, so that's, that's looking a little bit more uh, uh, refined there. So that's what we're gonna do with the uh, hat and the mustache as well. So let's go to create accessory settings. Let's select that mustache. And the mustache has a lot of different material names. You need to find the one that is actually called bread03 in this case and just make it a little bit darker. Maybe minus 21 is fine. And there's also another material name called bread3. Take that down for the other one. All right, and then we're good. And then we can do the same thing with the material settings as well. So select F and select our bread mesh group there. Raise our specular a little bit, the glossiness. And then the other bread do the same thing. We're just going to kind of estimate this. We're not going to be too picky about uh, everything. I think uh, we'll just work with that right there. Okay, I think that's looking fine and dandy. And then finally, least, last but not least, we'll do the same thing with our the lenses of our glasses. So specular, you can see you can raise that and the glossiness as well. And then if you want to save your character for later use, you can just go up here to your actor tab and go to custom actors. Use this plus button and I'll save him as Clever Cat. All right, you can see I have uh, previously saved this princess pig. So if I want to reapply her to the uh, scene, I can simply double click here and there she is. And you can see I've also done the uh, material effects to the crown as well. So if I go to create material settings for the character's crown, you can see the specular effect right there. And uh, if we move back and forth, you can see the specular highlights on the crown right there. All right, so looking pretty nice. And that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Just wanted to kind of show you all the creative options that you have for different types of characters, whether they be tuning characters or even more realistic characters as well. You can import all sorts of accessories. iClone has a huge history of, a huge library rather, of uh, content that we've had throughout our history, 10 year history of iClone. So you can use pretty much all those i accessories on your Crazy Talk 8 characters as well. So just keep that in mind. All right, so thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you had some fun uh, learning about uh, how to create these custom characters, and I hope to see you in the next uh, videos. Also, check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com.